Okay, everybody, we're going to get into some loving kindness, healing the inner child action here. We experience trauma, we experience pain and hurt and suffering in the past, and we then carry it around with us. Those wounds, they get scarred over, and that scar tissue affects our mobility in the present. And so particularly with being hated or being rejected, it affects us in the present in how we interact with uh, the people around us and how we build relationships and how we maybe avoid situations because we're afraid of getting hurt again. And what we do with the Healing the Inner Child practice is we open up that wound. We open it up and we break down that scar tissue so that healing can happen and we can regain that mobility in our lives so that we can be ourselves. And so we don't have to keep carrying around this garbage and these scars from the past anymore. We don't do that by pretending that pain didn't happen. We do that by going directly into that pain, by going directly into that wound with love and kindness and compassion. But so be ready for this. This is not an easy practice. Uh, it's very normal if there's crying, uh, you can feel all sorts of different feelings as you're doing this and it may feel very uncomfortable. I should probably note before we get started, one of the things we're gonna do today is we're gonna like ourselves. And if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of practice liking yourself, this is gonna be an innovative, novel practice today, but entertain it. It's really useful to learn how to like yourself. We'll begin with the sound of the bell. As you listen to this bell, take it as an opportunity to invite your brain to quiet down, to sit down beside you. Now, when you're ready, as your brain is quieting down with you, bring your awareness to where you're in contact with the seat or the floor beneath you. Wherever you'd like to begin is fine. Just find a point of contact and bring your awareness to it. And then gently begin to work your way up your body. Say hi to your body parts. They've probably been doing a lot of work for you today and you haven't taken any time to thank them. So now's an opportunity to do that. Gently bring your awareness up and up your body, come up to your chest. Notice as your chest moves in and out as you breathe. Let's follow those movements for a few breaths. As you breathe in, notice the breath nourishing your body. And as you breathe out, thank the breath. It's done so much for you today. Before we move on to that hated inner child, we're going to exercise our loving kindness skills. And so when you're ready, as you're sitting there breathing, in your mind, picture something that always makes you feel happy. Picture something that brings a smile to your face. It might be a person, it might be an animal, it might be a place or a food, it might be an event. Bring that experience to mind. Remember how it makes you feel. And now as you breathe in, feel that loving, kind, compassionate, warm feeling grow. It's kind of like your loving kindness battery pack. And as you breathe out, let it flow throughout your body. 
Let's be here for a few breaths, breathing in and feeling that energy grow, and then breathing out and letting it flow throughout our bodies. And if your mind wanders off or you ever lose it or at any point in this practice, you know, even as we're moving on into the difficult stuff, if, if you lose that feeling, you always just come back to that love and kindness battery pack, whatever it is for you. Picture it there again. Breathe that energy back into your body. Let's take two more breaths. We want to get skilled at sharing this feeling, at giving it, so we can learn how to give it to ourselves. So with your heart full of that feeling, bring to mind somebody that you respect, that you care about, that you want to support. See them there in front of you. And as you breathe in, Grow that feeling of love and kindness in you. And as you breathe out, breathe it into that person you respect. May their days be easy. May they use this energy to overcome the challenges they face in life. Have understanding and compassion for them and the uncertainties they encounter just like you. Recharge their batteries. When you're ready, give them a hug and let them go on their way. And now take that love and kindness energy that's throughout your body and bring it together into a ball in front of you. And now I want you to save it someplace safe. Uh, you can put it down on the map beside you. Maybe you rest it in your hands. Maybe you put it in your lap. You slide it into a pocket. Just keep it somewhere handy because you're going to need it in a second. Now continue to breathe as you were. Keep your brain quiet there beside you, sitting with you. In a moment, we're going to bring up a memory from the past, a time when we felt rejected or hated or unwanted, worthless, unloved. You don't have to open up the biggest scar today. Be aware of where your skills are at. You likely have many little scars you know, tiny experiences, maybe just a nasty email from a couple weeks ago where somebody at work disrespected you. Maybe you got on a bus and the bus driver was rude to you and you just felt like they didn't like you. It's okay to start with something like that. It doesn't have to be the time that somebody you really loved uh, and trusted uh, betrayed you uh, or said really hurtful things to you. If that's where you're at and that's what you want to work on, that's fine too. This really is about building emotional fitness skills. And we have to be honest about where our skills are at. Simply move into this experience with understanding and awareness and kindness to yourself. And two, if you're pushing into this and you notice it's too difficult at any moment, uh, it's okay to go back to that love and kindness practice that we were just doing. Go back to that awesome, wonderful thing you love to picture in your mind and bring up that feeling of loving kindness again. 
if you spend the rest of this practice simply bringing up that feeling and letting it flow throughout your body, being kind to yourself, loving yourself, uh, that's great too. Let's remember where we are. Notice your breath again. And when you're ready, bring up an experience from the past when you felt hated or rejected or unwanted and unloved. See it happening to your younger self. You be there as you are now, like a time traveler. Going back into that experience, seeing it happen to this other person. Remember what happened to that younger you. Picture the place where it happened. Remember what you felt in that moment. Who else was there? What were they doing? What were they saying? What were they saying to you? Remember the pain and the insecurity you felt back then. And connect it to pain and insecurity you experience in your daily life right now. What were the emotions going through your head, going through your body? Right? See your younger self dealing with that all over again. Now it's time for you to step into the scene. Older, maybe a bit wiser you. Pick up that gift of loving kindness, that ball of loving kindness energy that you created earlier. Really feel it in your body again. Okay, take a breath in, feel it growing. And as you breathe out, flowing through your body again. And go up to yourself, that younger version of you that was feeling terrible and hated and alone. And give that gift to your younger self. You can hand it to them. You can give them a hug and just feel it flowing into them. Whatever they were afraid of, whatever they felt insecure about, whatever they felt so hurt by, overwhelm it with that feeling of love and kindness. Overwhelm it with compassion. Melt that knot of pain and hurt that was inside of you. If there were people there that were saying terrible things to you, just ball up that love and kindness in your hands and shove it in their mouths so they can't talk anymore. Shove it all the way up in their mouth until it's coming out their ears and their eyeballs.
Rest in that feeling of love and kindness. Right? Rest in that feeling of compassion. You're back there to help them. You're going to help them handle this. You're going to be the support they so desperately wanted back then. Take a few breaths now with your younger self. Just sitting in this compassion, sitting in this loving kindness, helping them feel safe. Talk to them. What do you want them to know? What do you want that younger you to know about where you are now? What have you learned? Remember how that younger you wanted to get acceptance, wanted to be liked, wanted other people to want them. Remember what they wanted to get. Remember their insecurities. Remember the hole they were trying to fill. Remember what it was you needed. And now give it to yourself. Like yourself, unreasonably. Let that younger version of you know how much you like them. Not for any particular reason. Do it unreasonably, radically, aggressively. They might argue with you. Maybe even you're arguing with yourself right now and you don't think you should like yourself. But do it. Show them that none of those reasons matter. Like yourself unreasonably. Feel that liking flowing into them just like you were doing with the loving kindness. Maybe this is just an, an extension of that loving kindness. You're feeling that love, that compassion, that kindness flow into that younger self. For no reason, just because, because it's you, you like yourself. Maybe there are things you want to change about yourself, but you're going to do that from a place of being happy and whole and liking yourself. Now, when you've done enough liking of yourself unreasonably, you know, grab your younger self's hand and start to change stuff in this memory. It is just in your head. You can change it. Show your younger self how you want to change it. 
maybe somebody was criticizing you, shouting at you, making you feel small. Well, now go up and show your younger self what you want to say right back to them. This is your opportunity to protect your younger you. Push back on those people that were hurting them. Maybe this was a scary, embarrassing experience at work or school. And so actually you don't want to push back on people. You want to get them in involved in doing something fun. You know, get everybody up dancing on the tables, throwing papers in the air, you know, ride an elephant through wherever you are. You can do that because this is just in your head. If you've always seen yourself as a victim, as being hurt in these memories, take back control in them. You can start to push things around. Maybe you want to take them out of that place. Take them on a tour of your life right now. Show that younger version of you what you know now. How can you show them that they no longer have to be afraid and feel insecure about the things that they were insecure and afraid about back then? Take a few moments to play around in this memory. Empower your younger self. Share your wisdom with them. Show them what they can do in this memory. And now when you're ready, you've had a chance to play around in that memory and rearrange things. When you feel like you've, you've pushed things enough for today, it's time to give that younger version of yourself some loving kindness again. Right, bring up that feeling. Remember your loving kindness battery pack. Feel it in your body again and give your younger self a hug. You understand you've been bringing that hurt with you into relationships, into situations, to work, to school, in the present. But you don't have to anymore. That little you that keeps popping up and crying out because it's afraid of what could happen, it doesn't have to do that anymore. Because you can handle it. Let yourself know it's okay. And when you're ready, hug that younger you and bring them into yourself. Let them melt into that feeling of loving kindness inside of you because they are inside of you. That younger you is always there. It's always carrying around its experiences from the past, its pain from the past. And we're in constant contact with that in each moment in the present. Let's take a few breaths with that love and kindness feeling again in our bodies. As we breathe in, feel it grow. As we breathe out, let it flow throughout your body.
the next time you're in a situation that was like the one where you were hurt, you may notice that younger version of you pop up again. It might have forgotten some of the work we did today. But you can remind it. You can be aware of that younger you present in that moment. And remind them. Take their hand. Give them a hug. You know why they're still scared. But you know that they know that you've got this. You can trust yourself. Right? This week, practice that trust. Practice that trust in relationships. Practice that trust wherever you go. You don't have to let those fears and those insecurities run anything anymore. Now let's bring ourselves back to the mat. And notice your breath. Notice how it moves your chest, how it moves your torso. And notice how you're sitting. Notice your posture. Maybe you've tightened up while we've been working on this. It's natural that we transfer some pain into the rest of our bodies. So just let yourself relax again. Let your brain relax beside you too. It might have gotten a little upset. Notice the seat you've been sitting on. Remember where you are. Remember that you're that wise, trustworthy, likable person here in the present. This is a practice that we may return to multiple times. So if it feels like there's some unfinished business still, that's okay. This isn't about solving or fixing or doing anything perfectly. It's simply about healing and liking ourselves because that's useful to us. To finish things off, we'll hear the bell again. Take it as an opportunity to leave anything on the mat that you don't want to take with you. And when you're ready, if your eyes have been closed, open them. Bring your awareness back to the world around you. And enjoy the steps ahead.